Hi, Smits from My Life Mits. I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for joining me today. I want to work in my Hobonichi Techo. This is the 2024 uh, One Piece collaboration. And I, yeah, let's just jump right into it. I ended up purchasing this um, because it was on a 50% off sale. And yeah, I've already started working in it a little bit. I did a YouTube live and live, and I will link that up here or down below if you wanted to check that out. But yes, let's just get into the. Uh, it's currently the the fifth. And in my previous video, I was talking about how difficult it is to journal on the weekends. So let's quickly jump in. I'm trying to think back. So let's do, I, my son is actually, well, he was influenced by me because I was watching some gouache videos on YouTube and he, he got so, uh, enthralled and interested as much as me almost uh, about gouache so we did a bit of research we didn't we haven't bought anything yet um, but I think I'll do that as a whole spread here like um so I'm going to use my cell phone to draw this quickly and I'm using yeah I think I'm going to use the zero one tip this is the uni pin waterproof and fade proof pigment ink and just draw a couple of of the Holbein we we're researching the Holbein uh, gouache I didn't realize there was a difference between acrylic gouache where it just um, you cannot reactivate it after it dries and then just the regular uh, gouache where you can kind of reactivate it again uh, with water later um, I haven't really decided which gouache I'm interested in purchasing. I still don't know if I need need it. I, I mean, I obviously don't need it, <laughs> but I think it would be so fun to use them in this journal. And I've seen a couple of people uh, use gouache in their Hobonichi, so I'm just going to quickly... I haven't decided on what kind, like what colors that I'm... I want to use or purchase. I think I'm looking more for like pastels, um, colors that I want uh, pop up more in my journals. Like it's so hard to make pastels, like vibrant pastels with watercolor. And it's probably just me because I'm not very, <laughs> I'm still, I'm not like a professional or anything like that and I just use watercolor for fun in my journals so I suppose I could do more yeah I'm gonna have to do more research when it comes to that uh, but I would like a very opaque color wash of some pastels from time to time and so that's what I was thinking with the gouache so um, there's a an art s store here in Japan or in Tokyo and it's a chain it's called Sekaido uh, but there's a big one in Shinjuku and I have not been there physically myself but I am th thinking of visiting the thing that holds me back is this humidity and heat and uh, thinking of dragging the kids into the city like Shinjuku city makes me not want to go <laughs> but at the same time I know my son would love it my daughter I don't know if she would so much I mean she loves uh, painting and doing she actually does more did more in here um, you can see her little artwork there and so she loves um, getting crafty with me but she's not particular at all about supplies. I think it's because, this is my daughter, um, because my son was watching the gouache 
videos with me he's like oh I really want to try gouache now and I suppose I can just buy them online but at the same time I want to go to the physical shop and try it out I don't even know if that's possible with gouache because you would have to have like a paint set there ready so you probably can't even swatch it eh um, maybe they have like a like a swatch sheet there I don't know actually that's uh, a question that I'm <laughs> currently thinking about uh, if there's any reason for me to physically go to the shop and I also wanted to pick up some uh, pencil crayons but yes so I'm just kind of um, contemplating that dragging my kids into the city of Tokyo in this heat I am not sure I was going to draw several of these tubes but I think I'm just going to leave it like this I'll do a bit of journaling uh, maybe uh, let's do a quick little doodle of a TV <laughs> uh, where we were also watching Bob Ross and I was just showing them how neat and like he makes these beautiful s scenes with just like a simple stroke with the brush and angling the brush a different way and they were just so amazed by like my son was like how long is this video and I said it was about 23 minutes and he said wow he created this beautiful artwork in 20 minutes <laughs> which was like actually really true like he just made that beautiful artwork I remember watching him when I was a kid on TV I really enjoyed his videos I think here I will we were watching a comparison video with uh, different types of gouache and they were showing like sh different I think there was four different types uh, and they were doing like a comparison drawing and although um, we found that the whole blind was not the best it's easier to obtain for us because we're in Japan and I don't even know what kind of brushes we need I think the artist was using like a flat brush and yeah, there's just so much more information that we need to research before uh, getting <laughs> a gouache. So, and there was one with a big palette. I'm curious to know if you use gouache. Do you have any recommendations, or do you enjoy it? Do you enjoy using the gouache in your journals? you think it's worth it or if I should just stick to watercolor I like the aspect of being able to um, add paint on top of each other and layer the different colors on top of each other and of course like I want like a pastel uh, wash in the background uh, like a nice opaque wash of color sometimes this is just from a marker like something like this it's very vibrant and opaque but I can't color the whole page with the marker you can see there and with water I watercolor I mean you can kind of layer but it's you can see through and if you don't let the full um, watercolor dr layer dry it's gonna get muddy and then it kind of reactivates the water underneath the watercolor underneath and so I think that's the thing I like about gouache but I will do a bit more research before jumping uh, into purchasing because they're not cheap so with watercolor I know I've been using it for a while now in my journals I've been using them for many years and so I I, I, I know that I enjoy um, watercolor but I don't want to buy like a full set of gouache like a, a gouache palette if I I don't 
like I, I want to try it out with a couple of tubes first um, before investing in like a full set and also I think about like the space I don't have I feel if I were to buy a full set of the gouache palette I'm gonna have to find a storage space and it's probably gonna just end up under my desk and every time I want to play with it I'm gonna have to shift things around and <laughs> I don't know <laughs> so right here I I'm just outlining the letters that I originally did like the heading my daughter's summer homework uh, I don't know how to explain it it's just so much and I think I took a picture comparing it with my son's little thin notebook and it's like a daily struggle with her homework because of course it's summer break she doesn't want to do this like she has to do several pages a day and so it's a big struggle for her and I don't blame her because it's really really tough and that's why I sorry I, I didn't finish my full thought there and so I did like a see like my son's summer notebook versus her stack of things that she needs to do and on top of that she has to send a postcard um, to her teacher I think it's called shochu mimai or I'm sorry if I'm butchering that I don't really um, know the correct terminology I'm going off the top of my head but yeah, if it's kind of like a summer greeting just to see how you're doing. It's, I doubt many people, or maybe the older generation continue to do that um, custom where you send postcards to your family and friends just to see how you're doing in the summer months. And so we, she has to do that and of course create a little project and also she has to do a presentation and it's just, really difficult for the both of us because of course um, I need to help her she can't do everything by herself so yeah it's a struggle for both of us <laughs> sorry I'm just thinking I want to add a bit of watercolor on the edge like a, a pop of color on the edge let's do pink I found a really uh, an expensive box it was on sale for 150 yen and we need we needed this box for the kabutomushi which is the I'll put it the English translation up here on the screen but that's another thing that she has to do for her summer um, during her summer holidays she has to take care of these kabutomushi and I am not happy like I don't I the she told the teacher that she was not interested in it but I think it was uh, kind of mandatory that she take care of these these kabutov mushi for her summer break I don't know I always thought it was a voluntary thing like if you want to take care of them then it's like a bonus point I guess you can say or um, a great fun learning experience but she doesn't like the bugs and I don't like the bugs either and so we're both stressed about keeping them alive and keeping them happy and, and so we bought another box and hopefully we can make more space for them or uh, apparently there's eggs uh, inside the dirt so I don't know maybe we might have to open the case up and uh, separate the two uh, I don't know I'm already stressed out thinking about it because I don't I don't like bugs at all so <laughs> having to open them and startling them and um, digging for the eggs and I am not sure how I'm gonna work that out but so I, um, because this is still a little damp, um, let's just 
color this little tube and I think this day I will journal a little bit about the fireworks. Today's date, I, uh, it's just the morning so I haven't really figured out what I want to do. Maybe I'll just write that a video was filmed or something along those lines. And uh, actually while I have you here, I did start working at the beginning of the or I left this page blank, but yeah, I just felt like putting this, uh, starting this off. I think I'll do a talk through of this later on, but just quickly sharing with you some of the spreads that I've done. I left sticky notes on bits that I want to watercolor later, and A lot of these pages are done with the clean, Zig Clean Color Real Brush. Um, there was a set that was part of a stationary selection box, so I used a lot of that uh, for the, these next several pages. And my daughter did as well, like you can see here. Yeah, Zig Clean Color Real Brush. I find that I'm I missed so much this crinkle effect and the pages are different. Um, the feeling of the Tomori River is different from what I'm used to from the past, but not in a bad way at all. It's just different. Um, yeah, not in a bad way at all. I'm really loving this. I missed it so much, like this crinkle and just flipping through. I find myself, once I opened it up and started journaling and finished this first initial spread, I kept going back and just flipping through the pages and it's so calming for me to do that. And I think with this notebook, I will try my best not to stick things in <laughs> like stickers and tip-ins and washi and I just really want to keep it simple like I I took this out and thought I was gonna stick it or maybe I will I don't know I but I'm gonna try my best to just do doodles and watercolor and paints and just keep it that way and then when I'm itching to stick things in and tip things in I will of course continue with the weekly traveler's notebook and I think I will remain do that for the remaining of 2024 so yes I think this is dry now a little bit still a little bit damp so I think I'm just gonna doodle or add some color to this so I think I'm just gonna add a little bit of color to this last bit here and we'll call it a video I'll call it a day <laughs> um, let's think of a color to put here yeah so please let me know if you use gouache do you have a preference with uh, or are you happy with playing with gouache? Um, do you have a preference or a brand preference? I would love to hear your thoughts on that. I'm not entirely sure what color I'm making here, but I'm just adding a couple of light colors together. All right, and because I have some color left, let's add a bit more here and outline this little doodle. I'll have to wait for this orange paint to, or it's kind of like a sherbet color, like an orange sherbet. I'll have to wait for that to dry before I color in the TV or the border of the TV. But there we go. I hope you're doing well. I hope you are excited to see the Hobonichi again. I am 
so excited to jump back into the Hobonichi Techo. And yes, so thank you so much for being here today. I hope you're doing well wherever you are and you are creating as well. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.